What is up guys, it's One Love here and today I'm gonna to be giving you some gaming news. We're gonna be starting off with some Borderlands news. So if you own a Nintendo Switch and you are a Borderlands fan, this is something for you. The Borderlands Legendary Collection is gonna be dropping on May 29th, this Friday. So guys, if you have been waiting for this, then I am definitely feeling the hype because I have always been a Borderlands fan. I've played the first one and the second one. Unfortunately, I did not get to play the rest because, you know, other games came out and kind of took my, my interest, but I am still working on the franchise. I'm still working on, on completing these games and the trophies, all the things that come with it. I really love and I enjoy that world. I don't know. It's something about the graphics, the, the, the comedy, the, the action, the mayhem It's just, it's, it's amazing. Amazing. Even their DLC content is coming with with everything. It's gonna be a complete Collection so you don't even have to worry about getting any DLCs or anything like that and on a related Borderlands note if you also own a Nintendo Switch and Animal Crossing New Horizons, then you're in luck because someone by the name of Logan Galloway tweeted, I made a bunch of Borderland inspired designs in Animal Crossing New Horizons. His creator code is going to be in the description. Uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and uh, get those really awesome looking clothes, I'm actually kind of bummed i don't personally own a switch and animal crossing because these these things look awesome all right moving on to the competitive side of gaming so sony has announced it's hosting an open series kicking off june 1st 2020 so guys if you've always been wanting to you know kind of get into the competitive side of gaming this is your chance prizes include more exclusive ps4 themes and avatars the further along you get while tournament winners will come away with cash prizes that is exciting guys i'm actually thinking of uh, entering for call of duty modern warfare just to, to see what it's like and moving on to a rumor Apparently, The Last of Us Part 2 is banned in the Middle East. It doesn't really say why it's banned, but a lot of people are speculating it's because of the, you know, LGBTQ plus um, themes going on with Ellie and uh, Ellie's new friend. And uh, this shouldn't really come as a surprise because if you played the first Last of Us, the DLC, one of the DLCs, uh, showed a little bit of Ellie's history and at the end you f you kind of knew that she was you know not straight <laughs> I mean you kind of knew like th this theme was gonna gonna continue on over to uh, to the second game so um, not a big surprise uh, the these countries are a little more strict about those kind of things but it is kind of sad because they're gonna be missing out on a amazing game the first one was a masterpiece i can't wait to see what the second one has to offer i'm pretty sure they're gonna go above and beyond with this because if they don't they're gonna be letting a lot of fans down and uh, they do not want to be doing that right now they can definitely capitalize on this so i hope they do well guys i hope you enjoyed my little bit of gaming news and uh hopefully you learned something you didn't and if you guys really enjoy this, please let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you're not following, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I want to get to at least 100 subs so I can change my name to One Love. So um, thank you guys and hopefully see you soon.